Hey everybody, Scott Spencer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Free pick in Korean baseball, the KBO for Wednesday morning play coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member of DocSports.com, just a reminder, uh, you can give it a trial run. All you got to do is click on that link below your video and get set up for a free $60 account. You can then use those free 60 bucks on any of our daily packages at DocSports.com. All right, uh, here's what's going for us. Uh, we split on Tuesday morning. Uh, I finally lost a KBO premium pick. We had won six in a row going back six or seven days, and uh, we did lose our premium pick on Tuesday morning. We did win in soccer, the Austria uh, Bundesliga. We had Austria Vienna. They got the win for us 1-0. Uh, as far as Korean baseball is concerned, we were fortunate and won here on the free pick report in Korean baseball again on Tuesday morning. And again, our uh, Korean baseball run with premium picks, we're going to look to go to 7-1 and one on Wednesday morning with our last eight. It's a four-star play. Good news about four-star plays in baseball. They are on a 13-2 and two run. We'll look to extend that to 14-2 and two, uh, with Wednesday morning's play. Now, the game goes at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, but if you want to jump on board, you got to do it on Tuesday. Play goes down at 12.45 a.m. Eastern, which is 9.45 p.m. Pacific out here on the West Coast. So you got to get it on Tuesday night if you want to be in action with us on Friday morning. As far as everything else, I'll be in more soccer action. We're going to have uh, our soccer plays posted on Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We handicap Taiwan and Korean baseball every day. Soon, Japanese baseball in the mix. They are in their exhibition season right now. And as you know, I handicap every game in Taiwan, every game in Korea. And uh, our plays are posted by 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific each and every day for the next morning's game. So check that all out. UFC, uh, those of you who, do that, who did ask me, uh, we did have that sweep on Saturday, a 2-0 underdog sweep. My plays for this week's UFC card will be posted Saturday morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we've got a free pick here. Last night we won. Nice free pick winner. Today we are going to go with an ugly, ugly team. I, I just got to tell you, sometimes it's the right time to jump in, and I think that is the case here for the Hanwha Eagles, who have lost a bunch of games in a row, as I know you're, you, you know of, and if been following the KBO at all. Uh, but I think they're in the right spot this time to snap the skin. And that's when we want to get ahead of things and get value is when a team is about ready uh, to have a bit of a bust out. Don't know it's going to last more than one game, but I think they get the win in this game Wednesday morning. Here's a couple of the reasons why they've got one of the best pitchers in the entire KBO on the mound on Wednesday morning does Han Juan. That's Warwick Salpo. Now, Warwick Salpo has started five games this season in the KBO. He's averaging almost seven innings pitched per start. 265 ERA, buck 15 whip. He even owns a 5-3 win over the powerful NC Dinos a couple of starts ago. On the flip side, listen, when Southpool's on the mound, you just want to make sure that Hanwha can put a couple of the runs on the board. And the thing is, when he's on the mound, if he's pitching like he normally does, you generally only need four, maybe five runs to be scored to get him the victory. Now, here's the deal. I think Hanwha will be able to do that because ki -Woom is going with Young Gun Joe. He's already uh, coming in relief in one game this season. This will be his first start. The only reason he's up from the minors right now is because of the injury at the top of the starting rotation for Kiwoom's pitching staff. So listen, there's talk that he's on a limited pitch count in this particular start, talking about Joe. And I think what we see is we'll get Han Wah getting to that bullpen of Kiwoom a little bit earlier than you normally would. And we note that Kiwoom, despite recent success, they did lose 10 of 14 at one point. And in their last seven games, they've given up 45 runs, well over six runs per game. So really like the starting pitching matchup in this one. I think Hanwha uh, can snap that losing skid. And as I look at about 15 books on my screen, uh, I see anywhere Hanwha from about a minus dollar six favorite to about a dollar eight underdog. So shop around a little bit, but uh, we like Hanwha nonetheless, anywhere in that price range. Game goes again at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, 2.30 a.m. Pacific. All right, listen, you know about what's going on for me. If you want to jump on board for that early Wednesday morning premium pick in Korean baseball, we'll look to go to 7-1 and one with our last eight and 14-2 and two with our four-star baseball plays. Soccer for Wednesday available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And, of course, next day action Thursday in the KBO will be available on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. It's back on Wah to snap that skid. If you like the videos, click on that 
thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Appreciate those who have done, done so thus far. Uh, a real quick note, by the way, programming note, a good chance I will not have a video on Wednesday evening. Uh, there's going to be some work going on in my area again with my service, uh, internet service, and so there's a very good chance it's going to be down. I will try to do a video if we have no interruptions in the service. I will post a video Wednesday night, usual time, between 8 p.m. Eastern and 10 p.m. Eastern time. If we don't get a chance to get a video up Wednesday night, we'll, we'll be back at our normal time on Thursday. All right, let's put them in the win column. Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.